Hey boys, welcome back to some Broncos Korea Season 2 and is the Auckland Nines Round 3 where we, uh, I think, got a win last... <laughs> Honestly, it's been, <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually made one of these videos, so I can't quite remember what we did in the last... Uh, the last game, I think we lost the first one, won the second, could be mistaken, uh, but yeah, we're taking on the Cowboys, which um, I think we have to win to progress, that's my inkling anyway, and it looks like their team is pretty much stock standard, uh, we'll look through our team, I think it's the same as what we've been rocking, it's a pretty full strength nines lineup, you would say, but uh, yeah, I'd already, yeah, I'd already discussed sort of our, um, our new players being Kelly and uh, and Dave Taylor, the other one, <laughs> big Dave Taylor in uh, in the Queensland Cup. That's it's honestly so funny how freaking massive he's got. He's still he's still good though. I mean, you know, he's a big boy and he's still got skill. Um, let's look at that play. That was beautiful, beautiful little uh, switch of play there. Uh, to um, who was that? I don't even know. It was quick fella number seven, McCulloch. Pretty quick off the mark, McCulloch. Uh, but last tackle here, we're in a good spot to put up an attacking kick or uh, go for a run. But Milford's going to put in the chip. Decent kick, and we are going to force the dropout. So a pretty good option there from uh, from Milf. As a uh, switch of play here, I thought we if we did have the numbers. I just couldn't get the ball out. All our plays were on the blind side. So I was trying to open it up and then shift it back, but I couldn't get the pass away. As a uh, good little offload there, but Kelly is taken in a... Uh, in a good tackle, they anticipated the offload, which is annoying sometimes. That, that's one thing that's a little, so, like, annoying about the game occasionally is a little kick. Trying to get into the end goal didn't really go anywhere. But I can, when you offload it, the AI can always sort of magnetize to the player you're offloading it to. So a lot of times offloads don't really result in, like, a, a line break, which you think they should. Like, right there, we got a, a late offload, but the second Storm play was, like, tackling us even before we had it, basically, which, you know, they can anticipate it, which, but, you know, I guess you don't want the offloads to be overpowered, so it's, it's a tricky thing to sort of get right, as McCulloch goes for a little, little grubber, puts in the punt, this is fantastic play, it's James Roberts chasing, oh my god, that would have been such a good try, McCulloch with the little grubber, putting the, the punt kick to the corner with Roberts chasing that was oh man that was that was sensational play as Milford goes straight through we're honestly playing so well this game we just haven't scored a try which is ridiculous there we go there <laughs> as I speak of it there's you know we've just had him on the ropes the Cowboys they and right here is a little good line run from Alex Glenn back against the grain the market tried to shut down the dummy half and a, a fairly simple try, but very good, very good lead up. That was, I just can't get over how good that, the little kick into the corner, like I was, it's hard to do that on the fly, but I just, I just had a little bit of time and I, I thought about it and, you know, it was, it was well placed too. I, I if, if, yeah, it would have been so good if Roberts had scored that. It's Matt Scott, a clean break back from the, uh, the half time interval. And the Cowboys, uh, their first real chance, they put up an attacking kick here through Morgan and get the bat down as well. Thankfully, Coot is wrapped up there. So uh, our defense holds holds firm. As uh, we spread it out to the right, beautiful bit of play there. James Roberts in and away on Cameron Munts. No, it's not. Why do I keep looking at the jerseys and think they're the Storm? It's the freaking Cowboys, not Munster. It's Coot as <laughs> such. <laughs> bit of sloppy play here, but Nikarima gets it, crabbing across field, puts the puts the foot down, almost putting Milford into a gap there. Uh, but a little bit scrappy coming back from the second half, or coming back to the second half, as uh, James Roberts shuts down Morgan on the wing this time. Don't know what he's doing on the wing, but I uh, guess he can play most positions. As Gavin Cooper is going to get taken on last play. So again, our t uh, defense is going to be tested, but fantastic work. Jack Bird, that was that was fantastic anticipation, getting to it on the bounce. That was that was actually really good. As a fantastic outside inside play, just using fantastic over <laughs> all the time apparently, but that was that was beautiful. A little outside inside play. I love it when those those work. You know, you just see the defense sort of drag into the man as uh, Jack Bird again, the line break. Our, our attack has been, we put on some amazing set pieces this game I, I can't believe it's only one try we've we've looked we've looked so good as we try to put a little kick in 
reminiscent of the first half, but uh, shuts down pretty quickly. Matt Scott picks up and makes a, a bit of ground there as uh, we are approaching the full time. Hopefully we can finish with a bit of a bit of a flurry as we go for a 40-20 just to get some ground. It's a, it's a good kick regardless. We had the wind at our back and kicking into the corner. That's uh that's really good stuff. Coot gets driven in a in a shot by Boyd and there's the game. Um you know, that was, that was a match we could have put on 3-4 tries. We looked we looked so good in attack and our defense was solid. But uh, we just couldn't, we just couldn't do it. But uh, taking on the Bulldogs in the first game of the finals here, I thought again we'll do uh we'll do two games per episode, you know, because the, the nines can drag it out a bit. I I really like playing the nines. Honestly, it's a, it's a good chance to test your 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 new recruits, some young players, and you know just throw the ball around and have some fun. But uh, sometimes the videos can drag out if you. If, you know, I, I used to do in the past where I'd do like one game per per video, but um, they're a little bit shorter as well. So again, our lineup is pretty standard. The Bulldogs, I didn't really look at. I think it was basically the same the same team, which is good. I, I'm sort of glad that it doesn't look like the teams change too much, which is a little weird. Like I thought there'd be a few more changes, but um, I'm not. It's it's probably a good thing because it just means. They're going to be similar to the 2018 teams because obviously we're playing this season uh, still in the 2018 season. Um, in real life, anyway, is uh, Pengai Jr. gets the pathway to change Roberts. I try to put in a sneaky little kick, um, but uh, I guess we kicked. Well, they called a knock on, so maybe I didn't get my foot to the ball. Um, and the Bulldogs are going to get a, get a chance. We, uh, we try to attack early on there, but um, Kieran Foran going to the line, thankfully. We get plays in the tackle, hold him up, and our defense, it's looking its looking pretty strong. Again, we've uh, we've sort of turned around pretty quickly from our first, I think our first game we leaked some points, but yeah, we're looking a little bit more solid, getting uh, getting used to the game again as a uh, great pass there, Mbai through the gap, McCullough goes for the ankle tap, I knew it was danger because Mbai is super quick, so we got the ankle tap, Maguire was able to... Um, make the covering stop, but uh, yeah, it, was, it was a really good pass that, uh, that sort of cut out past the angle run back on sort of against the grain, like I said previous. It's uh, it's tough to stop, but the high, uh, the bomb goes up again. Big fella Corey Oates gets it, takes, takes on one of the players with a big step, uh, but brought down. So a bit, uh, bit less free-flowing from ourselves. We've had to do a lot of defense, but a good ball there to Josh McGuire. Gets us on the front foot, but uh, yeah, not, not quite the same level of uh, of class yet, but uh, a great ball there, Jack Bird onto Kelly's palms off one, gets around, or streaks out of the angle tap attempt, and Albert Kelly, the flyer, scores under the post for a bonus try. It was, uh, it was a good run by Jack Bird. He set up Kelly back on the inside. And, and Kelly, he's probably, he's quicker than this. I realize he's a little bit slower on the game than what I would like because he is, he's very quick off the mark. He's got a good step, but he's still, he's still reasonably quick on the game, which is good. And uh, that time, a little bit of power, a little bit of skill to uh, to evade the ankle tap and shrug off a player. So uh, a nice try right there is Hopawade. He's just going to streak through off uh, off the kickoff and he's going to go all the way. He's going to go all the way and score on the post. Oh, man, you wouldn't believe it. He just just goes straight through the defense and, and scores. So, yeah, our try has just been uh, neutralized right there. Moses Mboy, again, I... It's, it's always the issue, like, for some reason, they never seem to get the left-footed players to be left-footed. It's like they just forget that there's, you know, some players are left-footed. It's, <laughs> it's so annoying. It's, it's one of those things that it's it's such a, like, usually, like, real minor things like that I don't care about. But for some reason, I, I like playing with players who are left-footed as Milford just straight through here. I like, you know, I'm a left-footer, and I just like the style of left-foot kickers, and it just annoys me that... Uh, all the left-footed players in the game are not left-footed as uh, James Roberts finds himself in the middle of the field, which is always dangerous. We had them on the back foot and just just runs rings around him, really. Bit of a hole. 
and too quick, too quick, uh, too quick doesn't even lay a hand on us. So there we go. We hit back once again, 14 to seven. So dealing in bonus points right here as uh, John Olive gets a good pass away. Hopper White, a beautiful ball to Brent Morris. That's a that's slick play from the AI. Morris streaking out of tacklers too. But uh, yeah, that was that was really nice. So I mean, the AI, you know, I still I still think the AI is is very good in this game. Um, sometimes they don't pass it as much as you think they should, but Oh, Woods almost gets to the freaking line right there, but yeah, that was that was a good play there. Just got it out to the winger, and a good little kick in behind. Thankfully, Payne Haas sort of just traps it on the legs and is able to scoop it up and uh, thwart any danger. As I spread out to the right here, Kelly tries to get the pass away, a bit risky, and it's going to give the doggies a, a chance to hit back. Uh, we still have that seven-point buffer, so just don't let in a bonus try, and we should be decent. But Kieran Foran. Well, I mean, we, we didn't let in a bonus try, but I sort of wanted to defend at least a couple of uh, of plays. But yeah, Kieran Foran, you know, when he does take it to the line, he is strong. He's a strong ball carrier. Obviously, he's been fairly terrible in real life this year. But yeah, he's a strong carrier of the ball. And right there, he just put, pinned the ears back. And Darius Boyd tried to cut across, but couldn't quite bring him down in time. So the dog's back in at one point, the deficit. So Milford here... Big step, beats one, gets the ball back to Payne Haas. Payne Haas, not quite the speed there to burst into the backfield, but uh, good uh, good work from the big fella to be backing up his uh, his young half in Milford. A beautiful ball, Albert Kelly again. He's had a fantastic game. He's really starting to gel. The combination of Milford and, and Kelly is really starting to look very threatening. It's uh, it should be an excite. I'm 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 excited to start the regular season just because of our attacking ability with you know Kelly and Milford and then Nick Arima coming off the bench is going to add that that spark as we see right here. Nick Arima tries to put in the little chip and chase. Alex Glenn takes it back to Milford. Milford is just going to streak away. You would think, although the cover is coming and he tries to get the pass away, but it was, it was good scramble by the dogs there. Would have been a nice try. Our X Factor Nick Arima setting it up on cue, uh, but a nice ball there. Beautiful stuff. Puts in the kick. Jack Bird trying to get to it. Oh man, we've we've come up with just some magical plays in both games. It's uh yeah, this is razzle dazzle footy at its best. Milford chip and chase is gonna get taken, so there's the last play of the of the game. So we're gonna progress into the final. Um hopefully you guys are enjoying the second season here, and uh I'll see you in the next one.